Hey everybody, this is Will with Carolina Thread Place, and today we are going to be talking about paper products. What does paper products with branding um, mean? Well, very simple. Business cards, brochures, flyers, uh, banners, all different types of um, tablecloths. Paper products is not just paper paper. I mean, yeah, it is, but we're more talking about getting your, your logo on items to either give away or to display your branding. Before we get started, today's letter is the letter A. A is in advertisement. Awesome. App Store. <laughs> There's so many A words. So, but, let me mark it down that I've talked about it. So, first off, business cards. We all need these. If you want to draw business, or if you want to sell something to the public and you and you want to drive people to your your website this is all part of advertising business cards are your advertisement tool um, I did not talk much about that about advertising or in the advertising video about business cards because I was gonna talk about it in this video and I wanted to give you know I didn't want to take away from this video so business cards are definitely the best this is your best salesperson, salesman, um, because this will continue to talk even after you've stopped talking to the customer. What does that mean? That means, hey, how you doing? Thank you um, for checking by. Here's my business card. They take it. They open it and they take their wallet and it goes in. So now the business card is in their wallet. Well, what does that mean? It's just there. There's nothing. It's not doing anything. Well, they're gonna go in and go. They're gonna remember something. You're gonna you're gonna sell them something or not sell them something. You may sell them something or you may say something to them that they put in the back of their head. It's called seeding the future. Is what I call it. Seeding the future. Um, but. They'll it, it, plant that seed in their head. Oh, I, need, I may need shirts in the future, or this or that, or whatever your product is. And then they get, um, they're at an opportunity that they need whatever you are doing or selling. Well, they're going, like, Oh, I have that business card. Yeah, this person can do blah, 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 blah. Let's give them a try. Let's call them or something. Or, you know, they may take it and just throw it in the trash. Either way, it's still you're getting it out there. My, how I do it, and when it comes to business cards, I'm a big stickler of having them on hand. So, wow, these just went every which way. Because I told it to go the wrong direction so how many business cards do you want or how many business cards do you need the question is going to be answered by a question and you know we're not supposed to do that but in this case it makes sense to ask the question or to answer the question with an ant with the question how many business cards do you need well how many customers do you want is the best question to ask in this. So, while I finish straightening this up, I have this many left out of a thousand. I don't like having this little bit of it at a time because I'm all the time giving out business cards, especially when I'm at events. So, I have a brand new box. I keep a brand new box. When I go into this box, this one right here, I order another one. Because, yes, I have roughly about 1,200 business cards, 1,250, I think. Maybe 1,300, 1,400, I don't remember. I don't count them. <clears throat> but I would rather have some on the way than have to wait to get them and don't have them on me. Because then that's where I lose sales. 
So my, for myself, my personal experience, I get roughly about a 13% return on the amount I pass out. What does that mean? For every 100 that I send out, I get 13 orders. Um, generally speaking, two, one to two orders pays for my business cards. So if I pass out a thousand, that's a hundred and thirty orders. That's my experience. Your experience may be slightly different. So a hundred and thirty orders, definitely one or two pays for the business cards. The rest goes for everything else. So it is definitely important to have something to prove or something important to have um, your stuff on your logo on there. And I just realized I did not name this one. So, what about flyers? Flyers are great if you have somebody there. Um, I do flyers all the time when I'm talking about a service that I'm just starting up so that my current customers who swing by my booth can see it. I'll put flyers in orders, which I need to start doing again because I took a, a hiatus or hiatus or hiatus or however you say it I took a break from it um, I need to start doing that again but um, flyers in your orders is always a great thing to do you know when you when people come by hey have you looked at this have you tried this kind of thing so you definitely that's a good idea to have brochures folded brochures it all depends on what you're trying to push. Brochures are great for services. Um, I'm not from. I, I've not really seen um, brochures used for products. Like, I mean, services are products. Don't get me wrong; they're non-tangible products. But services need a lot more real estate to talk about because you know, with the product, you know, with the cork. You don't need a lot to say, hey, this is cork. This is, you know, what, what can you can have a part on your. I mean, a flyer isn't, isn't suffice because then you're going to list everything. With services, you need to list for this price, you get all this stuff. So it's kind of a hit and miss when it comes to products, like tangible products. Um, now, what about tablecloths? Well, if you do events, yes, you need a tablecloth. Um, it, and you don't need just one tablecloth unless you're going to just do like a small little banner, which is totally fine. You can do that. Um, but you need the tablecloth that will fit multiple different table sizes. Now, if you're just going to use your table all the time, then definitely just use just that one tablecloth and stuff. But if you're going to use venue um, specific tables, um, some are round, some are um, very long, like eight foot, some are six foot. So you have to be, you have to buy a tablecloth that could be utilized across all those different types um, you can use a table runner around the front I do see a lot of people do that and it's actually a good idea that way you only have to purchase one with your brand on it and then a large tablecloth make it or buy it so it all depends on what you want to do at that point um, canopies if you're going to do outside events then definitely you can I would get um, your logo on your logo on it, um, or the color of you know one, your your business color, or close to it. Because I have a blue one, because my logo is normally blue. So, um, what about stuff like these promo products? Yes. I could, and that's something I should have talked about in the video yesterday, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about it now. Promo products are a great idea for advertising as well. You know, people love free stuff. Um, I'm, just go around your house and look at all the promotional stuff that you have just stashed away somewhere, and you'll see what I'm talking about when it comes to that. So... Um, I think that's a good overall view of um, paper products. I do offer services to design it and print 
a lot of different things. Um, if you're interested in that, definitely send me an email. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to this channel. The link is below, you know, the little subscribe button with the bell next to it. Um, please share this video and this whole week's videos with all your family and friends because you never know who would be um, looking to get into um, getting the business started and a lot of this information. And all these videos is just a very brief um, amount of information just so that you can have an idea of what to do. Um, if you want me to go into anything more deeper of any of these com um, sections, please comment below and let me know and on Friday we'll go further into it. Or I may answer your comment as well. So tomorrow is social media. i um, talking about you know, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, uh, and Instagram. So and I'm going to pull up some of those, I think, to demonstrate those. Um, I'll, I'll see about that. Um, but 23 videos done for the month of March or May. Wow, we're in May, not March. Whew. <laughs> so, but anyways, you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow. Um, I'm doing a video and live tomorrow on the 24th of May. So until then, y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.